and here we are. It's a beautiful evening, guys. I can assure you, I'm going to have some nice experience here out of home, just in the wild alone. <laughs> an evening away from home, just and make some snacks, <laughs> some samosas, guys. So, how about we do this together? I just want to have some silence, you know. <laughs> And guess what? Right here is the meat. So you can use any meat of your choice. Yeah, so straight away, guys. Let me first wash this very fast. And I try to mince it. It's called what? Mincing? Like, make mince. Eh? mince. <laughs> that one. <laughs> so here I can listen to the birds singing. And just, I don't know, my mind can get free. <laughs> it's a beautiful breath right here, I can tell you. So of course guys for those of you who have the meat grinder yes you can go ahead and use but because here i don't have this is how we do it and it comes out really perfect but by the way you could also try this even when you have a grinder just to get the experience you could try this at home and you're surely going to testify it comes out really perfect like like the one you actually buy in the supermarkets and all and wherever which whichever market it needs patience that's the only thing So guys, as you can see me doing, I'm actually finalizing on this last part. That's the reason you see me making it so fine. Like this. And if you have to check through here, you're actually going to notice it is smooth. <laughs> Just like that. So here we are with our minced meats. Ready to make some delicious, tasty samosas, guys. Mm -hmm. now straight away, guys, I'm just going to pack it here. so that we can make some dough so right here guys this is all purpose flour this is how they are sold in the market I'm going to add in some salt mix it and then here I can add in this is cold water And here it is. So I'm going to leave it covered. Let me first pour this away. For some 15 minutes. And these are the things I'm going to mix, some garlic, some onions, and some green pepper. But you can add whatever you have, but this is what I have here. And here, it's also ready. So let me cover it somewhere right here. Be careful with my cooking oil not to pour. So I'll cover it right there. And straight away, I'm going to set my fire. You know why I'm doing this? <laughs> I could easily end up burning the whole place just with this fire here. So I want to make sure I avoid that place. So I'm removing the dry leaves away. All right. We're good to go.
so we're going to make some balls out of this so this one you make it very thin Those are going to be the, should I call them the casing, the coating, the, I don't know, <laughs> the jacket, so what, I don't know. So right now I'm going to add in the mint meat. So I'm going to drop in just some bit of water. I'm going to drop in some onion. Right here is some salt. So guys, I'm going to cut this. For each one like this brings about four coatings. So depending on the size after all. Right like this. We're going to make uh, what we call the glue, which you make just out of the flour, the old purpose flour and water. So I'm just going to add in some water here. Not so thick, not so watery. You have to be cautious of the thickness here. So at this point whatever you have maybe black pepper or anything that you have and use for seasoning your food you can add in at this point just to give you the kind of taste you want red pepper whatever according to your taste So here grazing. <laughs> so this is the garlic. I'm just going to add it. Also do the, the, the green pepper and the onions as well. Wow. And the mixture looks perfect. <laughs> My plate is full. 
and it looks like I have some excess meat here. This is the last bone you can see. <laughs> Then I'm just going to add in this. Who is excited to have some samosas with me? <laughs> Ooh, look at this. How beautiful they look. <laughs> and yes, we are finished to make some tasty. Oh, okay, the smoke has ended my eyes. But guys, this is really, really. Just look at how it looks. Who oh, are you ready to test? I am so excited for this, but who guess what? It's actually hot. Hmm. Mm. Just look at all the meat stuffed inside, guys. Mm? You surely have to try this out. Use any meats. Any meat of your choice, you don't have to stick to. That's why I don't even want to mention the meat because you can use any meat, guys. So please try it out and surely let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Oh, <laughs>